Hey there! It's been a while. It's been a few weeks since I've last uploaded, but, uh, well, what can you do? I do apologize for the lack of videos over the last uh, couple weeks. And for those of you who are watching this in the future, it doesn't matter. But I thought I'd mention that. And with this new project, I'm planning on putting out more videos. So hopefully that'll be great. So those of you who are watching this as I'm uploading them, you have some content on the channel. But that's not what you're here for. You're not here for an apology. You're here for the new Sonic Screwdriver project. The Sonic Screwdriver Mark III. And that's what I want to introduce to you today. So if you're a Whovian, you're going to really enjoy this. And even if you're not, and you just are interested in engineering and computer science, then you'll also enjoy this. All right, before we start, you should subscribe! <laughs> nah, I won't bore you with all that junk, but I will mention that subscribing genuinely does help a lot. Like, and that's, I'm not even joking with you. It actually does, and I'm gauging how well this video does based on subscriber counts. So if you want to see more of these videos, then make sure you subscribe. But, I mean, you don't have to if you don't want to, but you, you, you really should. Okay, so what are the plans for this project? Well. Before I mention what those are, I want to give you a brief overview of the history of this project, of the Sonic Screwdriver project. Now before I get started on that, I just want to mention I'm going to be leaving timestamps in the description below for those of you who have a short attention span like me, just so you get, you know, all the content of this video through. Because this video is going to be very important to, uh, for context purposes. The Sonic Screwdriver project. What has led up to this? A few videos back, what I did was a I made the mark to Sonic Screwdriver. And this Sonic Screwdriver was able to generate a variable frequency based upon where the slider position. It was able to detect static electricity, which was very buggy, and it also had a UV LED. Now, it had basic functions, but the idea was the user could use those basic functions to do a variety of tasks. Now, since then, what I've done is I've done a lot of research and I've done a lot of planning, and this Sonic Screwdriver, the Mark III, is going to be the best one yet. It's gonna be beautiful. It's gonna have a variety of really cool functions that I think you're, that you're gonna really enjoy. Now, a little bit of backstory for me. Ever since I first saw Doctor Who, I've always wanted a Sonic Screwdriver because it's just so cool. You're able to take it and you're able to, you're, you're able to manipulate stuff in the real world with this little device, which I think is great. And that's what I want this video series to be for, is building a Sonic Screwdriver that actually works and not just makes lights up and makes a sound, it actually does stuff. And that's the end goal for this project. Now for episode zero, I don't plan on talking about the design too much, but what I really want to nail down is design philosophy and important information that'll be useful for context purposes. So the first thing is I'm hoping to put out a video every other week. Every week would be better, but I can't promise that, but I'll try my, I'll try my best to do that. The end goal, like I said, is to build a fully functional, really cool looking sonic screwdriver based off the show Doctor Who, of course. Again, I don't want to spoil too much. Spoilers. But it's going to have a variety of functions, such as being able to control electronics from a distance and uh, lighting stuff on fire. Again, those won't be the only functions, but those are a few of the ones that I think are going to be great. Now, this is very important. I want this screwdriver to be a very personal device, just as in the show. See, when the doctor loses his sonic screwdriver in the show, he's genuinely sad. He said himself that he felt like he lost an old friend. Isn't my day, is it? I feel as though you've just killed an old friend. I want to put in a lot of time and effort into this project, and I want to be able to have this device. I can call my own sonic screwdriver and you know and I don't want to feel just like it's this, this cool little thing I have I want it to feel personal like you know and I, I can feel proud about it that I made the sonic screwdriver and that's exactly what I want to do so that it kind of ties into the show a little bit and kind of it all works together to create this beautiful product and like I mentioned before I'm gonna be putting out videos pretty often and I'll be able to show you the steps that I take and some tips for yourself if you'd also like to build your own. I'll be doing a lot of engineering and a lot of programming actually because I'll be using custom programming as well. So so this series won't only be for Whovians but also those of you who are interested in engineering and computer science. And so we'll be able to work together hopefully with your input because I want this to be not only my thing but also your thing. I want the viewers to be a part of this because 
we can all have fun with this uh, project. So, if you have any suggestions or comments that you'd like to leave, leave them in the comment section. And actually, a few, like an hour or two before I started recording this video, uh, somebody happened to join the Discord server and was interested in the Sonic Screwdriver project. So, if that's you, why don't you hop on and we can talk about the pro project and you can give me some ideas. And uh, I think it would be great if we could all have fun with this. It's gonna be it's gonna be great. All right. So with that, that is basically all I have to tell you. So if you'd like to be a part of this project, make sure you subscribe because that is the best way to stay up to date and the best way I know that people actually would like to see more of this. So thank you, genuinely thank you that for subscribing and for leaving your comments. It means a lot. All right. So. With that said, let's get to it. Allons-y. Allons-y. Eh, close enough.